here's the lineup for the 100 final. Serin in one, Stewart two, Burrell three, Christie four, Lewis five, Mitchell six, Frederick seven, De Silva eight. This stadium almost full, close to 60,000. There's Bruni Serin, who ran a national record in the semi final of 10.07, won the Canadian Championships and the Japanese Championships this year. In lane two, Raymond Stewart, equal. Commonwealth record holder and his fastest time for the year at 10.03 was third in the world championships in 1987. In lane three the world record holder Leroy Burrell from the United States of 9.90 the American champion and the number one this year but has been challenged strongly. In lane four Linford Christie twice European champion equal Commonwealth record holder Commonwealth Games champion and silver medalist from the Olympic Games fourth in this final in 1987 big time performer Carl Lewis in lane five who has been in sensational form here world champion in 83 Olympic champion 84 and 88 runner up to Ben Johnson in Rome in 1987 arguably the greatest athlete track and field of the 20th century and he's king in this stadium in lane six Dennis Mitchell who ran 9.99 in the semi-final to join eight other men who have broken 10 seconds Mitchell was third in the American Championships and fourth in the Olympic final where he was the youngest contestant in Seoul in 1988. He'll be hoping that the United States clean sweep here. He's the third of the Americans but a high quality athlete. In lane seven, the only South African in fact competing at the World Championships representing Namibia, Frank Fredericks who goes to college in the United States, ran a national record in the semi-final, ran 9.89 windy, is the American collegiate champion. 989 Windy yesterday. Here's Robson de Silva, finalist in Seoul, fifth, better at 200, but a magnificent athlete, just the same, the South American record holder. It's the best lineup collectively we've ever seen. Four men under 10 seconds in the semi finals. There's been no sprinting like that in the past. When you think back to Rome in 87, Johnson and Lewis into slight headwinds couldn't break 10 seconds in the semi. It's a magnificent moment in the sport because will we see a real world record go and will Lewis remain king or will Burrell take it off him in emphatic style or will there be an upset it should be a blanket finish and the start's going to be all important Lewis will need to be near them he's got a slow beginner on his left and there's Burrell Stewart in two Mitchell six and Frederick seven Burrell in three start all important there's Lewis set away Burrell got a great start Lewis last out away very fast Mitchell I don't think Carl can win Stewart in front Lewis flying Lewis is flying you'll get up he's broken the world record it's the greatest sprinting performance you'll ever see the king has come from nowhere sensational well, the Emperor is in the stadium tonight, and he's seen the king of the sport at his very best. He's given the best field of sprinters imaginable a start, and picked them up, and broken the world record. And when you think the pressure, he must have been under. And there's his family, his sister Carol and his mother. You think the pressure, he must have been under at 50 metres, when he was giving them all a start, and he was able to stay relaxed.